Laparoscopy is a minimal access procedure. It is where a telescope is introduced inside the abdomen to see what is the cause for the patient's symptom. So in gynecology, the common reasons we do laparoscopy are because of pelvic pain, when they suffer from symptoms of endometriosis, when they have an ectopic pregnancy, when they have scar tissue causing pain, and also certain operative procedures, like if we want to do a hysterectomy or we want to remove the ectopic, a cyst that is detected on an ultrasound needs to be removed, or if we want to um, remove the scar tissue, then we proceed, or sterilization as well, then we proceed with a laparoscopy, which is not just a diagnostic procedure, but also it provides intermediate operative and advanced operative techniques that can be facilitated at the same time. As I previously discussed, the reasons we do is to find out a cause for the symptom. So prior to this, we go through a detailed history and also do tests like ultrasound, blood tests, to check if we could find an abnormality. If we find an abnormality, or if we don't find a cause at all, then the next option would be to proceed with a laparoscopy. Prior to laparoscopy, we want to do a full risk assessment to assess the suitability of a patient for this procedure. If a patient is suitable, then we proceed with laparoscopy, and that would be to uh, find the cause, treat the cause, and remove the abnormality. And in gynecology, mostly we remove, as I previously said, ectopic pregnancy, a cyst in the ovary, scar tissue, removal of any abnormality in the pelvis, treatment of endometriosis, and hysterectomies. Fibroid removal as well could be done at the same time. However, if it is a diagnostic, still we proceed with the treatment, like for sterilization, removal of the ectopic, we could do it at a, as a concurrent procedure at the same time. It is usually done under general anesthesia. If it is a diagnostic procedure, it is considered as a low risk procedure. However, it comes with its own risk. Hence, it is important to have a full risk assessment regarding suitability for the surgery. Now, prior to surgery, we look at how fit the patient is with regards to their medical condition. What are the previous surgeries they had? How do we assess the BMI as well? And we assess their suitability for a general anesthetic because this is done under general anesthesia. Following this, we, we discuss what we want to achieve from the surgery. So if it's diagnostic, it is a day case procedure where patient come in and go home the same day. If it is a treatment combined with this, like sterilization, cyst removal, scar tissue removal, uh, ectopic removal, they could still go home on the same day. But if it is a bit advanced, like fibroid removal, or if they have hysterectomy, they might need to stay in the hospital possibly for one night. That is possibly because of the recovery that we would and the pain that is with the procedure that needs pain relief to be given overnight. Normally we advise regular pain relief to be taken for at least 24 to 48 hours after the procedure. And we discharge patient with pain relief as well. Laparoscopic surgeries are minimal access surgeries. It could be intermediate or advanced, and it reduces the risk of larger scars in your tummy. Normally, the maximum scars you would get is one centimeter, and uh, depending on the number of cameras that goes in, we would have three to four incisions. So recovery period would be going home and keeping yourself mobile. Why? Because you are at risk of, risk of developing clots. So adequate hydration, eating and drinking well, taking regular pain relief, walking around is advisable to reduce the risk of developing a clot. We advise regular exercises in the leg by moving um, of the foot all the time and bending your knees to just reduce the risk of uh, developing a clot and increasing the circulation in the leg. 
Also, you could have pain soon after the procedure because your tummy is inflated with gas to provide access into the abdomen. As a result, you may have pain, shoulder to pain and pain around your scars and in the lower pelvis. However, this is a very transient pain that goes away within 24 hours if treated well with pain relief. Also, we discuss about care for the scars. The scars are usually in the tummy less than one centimeters. Usually, sometimes they are glued or they may have a stitch which is dissolving or it needs to be removed by your practice nurse or your GP after five to seven days. Other things we always say is look out for complications. Any undue pain, feeling hot and cold, like having a temperature or having um, prolonged pain, unable to move, unable to eat and drink, feeling very sick after surgery, unable to keep anything, are all signs of infection or any complications from the surgery that you need to look out for, that you need to report to your operating surgeon or report to a &E or report to your GP. Soon after the surgery, as I previously said, you go home in a say on the same day or the next day. And we normally advise that you need to have everything uh, uh, lead a health, a normal lifestyle as you've been doing. You will have pain, so you could take rest. However, you take regular pain relief, so you are mobile. You eat and drink normally. You increase the fluid intake to facilitate quick recovery. Mary, gentle walking and then slow exercise is always required. We advise not to drive for at least two weeks to four weeks, depending on what surgery we have done. We advise also to do start regular exercises, slow and steady, but not start quickly soon enough. Also, we advise to keep actively walking around to reduce the risk of developing any clot. We advise not going not to go to work for at least two weeks as you need uh, time to recover and anticipate any complication in the immediate post-operative period. We give the number to contact so you are able to have a direct access to medical staff who had helped you with the surgery for, so that you can contact them if you are developing any infection or a complication from surgery in the first two weeks. After two weeks, Mostly, the, you, you would be able to go back to your normal lifestyle as you have been working and doing everything as normal.